Hi guys, it's your girl Hawaii Nani coming to you with a look of the night, no the late. Um, really not ready for bed right now. I just wanted to create another patriotic look. Um, earlier I did a look and I posted the video and I wanted to share with you how I did that look. Um, this is the same colors but in a different way I did it. And I will have a tutorial about it um, on it tomorrow. I will do a tutorial on it tomorrow. Well, today. Anywho, um, what I did, I had the white on the lip. The white is still in the same place as um, on the other video, but I switched it up. I made the blue into the crease, the red on the brow, um, um, eye, eyebrows, and I added the concealer with a little bit of white. Underneath here, I got a red and I got a mixture of red, I mean blue, on the middle of the waterline and a little red on the inner corner just to kind of blend it together. And on my lips, I'm wearing my MAC um, bold, bold Brush um, Lip Gloss, that's what I'm wearing. For blush, I'm wearing uh, my NYX Desert Rose. Um, the um, blush, and I'm wearing a little bit of con I'm wearing a little bit of concealer and a base powder, mineral powder that I use for my foundation. I didn't put a heavy foundation because I'm not gonna have it on. Long. I wanted to share with you this look. Um, yeah, I didn't put on my jewelry, so while I'm here, I wanted to see what it looks like with jewelry. And I'm vlogging a little bit, so bear with me, guys. I have. Seeing this place in my earrings. Okay. There's a lot of stuff on this dresser. Okay, let's, um, crap. I think they're over here. There we are. Sorry, guys. Um, I know my regular earrings that I need to get. They're turning, start my turn now. And put these on. So I can get the full extent, extent of my look with accessories. And I'm going to take pictures of this look to uh, probably hit some on a video. But I will do the tutorial for this look tomorrow. So yeah, I come here to vlog a little bit with you guys, kind of um, share with you some things. I also want to share with you what my husband bought to me a few nights ago. Um, okay guys, he bought, with, bought a pair of, I got a pair of these nice tennis shoes that I have to clean now. They are by um, Baby Fat. And, yeah, baby, they're by Baby Fat. Um, really cute, simple tennis shoe. High top kind of pink in it. What's my favorite color? And it's gray in too. It's got a little pink. I'm um, not pink, sorry, but a little medallion of the cat, Baby Fat cat on there. And this is really cute shoe that he got for me at Shoe Carnival here at the Crossroad Mall. So he picked up a pair of shoes for me. Nothing spectacular. And then he bought me this cute little Hello Kitty doll. Got me a Hello Kitty. Yeah, so we went out on our date night. Had a wonderful time. We ate dinner at Friday's. We seen Men in Black 3. Um, really, really cool uh, date night. That's when I told you guys my children were at, was at my mother's house during the weekend, this past weekend. And yeah, so we had a good time. I hope we can do that again. Um, hope I'm hoping around Father's Day we can do something really nice, but it's no guarantee because right now we're kind of down on money because we're broke now since we just uh, got recently. He just recently got paid, and we had to get a few things for the apartment and the kids and so on. But I just wanted to come by, vlog a little bit. talk about the news, smoke my cig, and 
figure out what's going on with these people in the world today. Why uh, why they are the way they are because people are wondering about the weather, the way that things are changing right now, how things are changing and such and such. I'm like, we got so much going on. I'm hearing about a man um shooting a four year old child in the head because he was gay or he something by him being gay or whatever. First of all, a four year old child don't know anything about gay, straight or anything. He's a child. I mean and then when he grows up if he wants to be gay, so what? That's his choice, that's his lifestyle. But this son of a bitch shot a baby. I'm hearing about that. Another thing, a man beat another guy to death in Texas for the father to this child beat the man who tried to molest his daughter, who ran to the dad, who beat the hell out the guy that tried to molest his four-year-old daughter. I don't give a fuck. He tried to molest his four-year-old daughter. I think she was four, either four or nine years old. But if I'm not mistaken, I think she was either four. She was a young child. Either way it goes, he was a pedo. And the father beat the living shit out of him till he died. The man said himself, he didn't mean to kill him. I don't, you try to hurt my child. Ain't nobody in their right motherfucking mind gonna be right in the head if you messing with somebody's child like that. Half of you would agree, half of you may not agree. But that's teach us all. But if somebody tried to molest your child, you tell me you would not try to kill that son of a bitch. Whether it be a man or a woman. Ain't nobody gonna be clearly in their mind. My husband and I both said tonight. He wouldn't have survived. We would have been in prison. But first, I know the police did not press charges against this man who beat this man who tried to uh, hurt his daughter to death. They did not press charges. I guess they're investigating it or whatever. What is the, what's, the, what's there in to investigate? This man tried to call his motherfucking man. Try to molest his four-year-old child. What the fuck is that to investigate? Ain't got a damn thing to investigate. He tried to hurt his daughter. The man took charge. And I do not blame him for beating the shit out of that son of a bitch. Because see, all these sick, pedophile, rapists, serial killers, all the people, all of them, need to be sent straight to, Af to Afghanistan, sent on a firing squad, and killed. Or you just put them in the, in the jail cell that people that don't like those kind of people. And let them go ham on the ass. That's how you end fire squad. What did they do a long time ago when they killed? When they hung, when they, they um, did black people wrong or whatever? Or uh, hung? The, the Jews got treated it wrong? The blacks got treated wrong? Do the, the hell they did to them? To the people that did that to them children? Do that to children? Like this 22 year old dude. If I'm not mistaken, was called masturbating and Chuck E. Cheese while they're children. You sick bitch. You out there masturbating. I don't want to get into that topic because that's disgusting. It's gross. It's sick. It's demented. People eating people's flesh. That's sick. Demented. We're living like that lady said. We're living in our last days. I don't care what nobody say. We are living in the last days. Folks are going in fucking sane. And um, we gotta come to some agreement with peace. We got too much drama, too much anger, too much hatred. It's sad enough, you have people killing people every day, you get children dying, <clears throat> And to me, they're setting the wrong people free. And you got people out there selling drugs. This is wrong. You got people out there with gun, un shooting guns and murdering and, and doing all kinds of stuff. That's wrong. Little minor things like a fucking speeding ticket. 
getting locked up for stupid stuff like that. Really though? Well, you got murderers, molesters, and all that running around. And a molester can live in a house next door to you. You would not know it until they sent out a card saying sex offender on the next street or sex offender next door to your ass. That would, in all cases, make you uncomfortable if you got children running around. You're not incapable of knowing what this man did. They said he was, say, for example, such and such 22 years old, such and such a minor. Is that minor a two-year-old? Is that minor a 14-year-old? A child. Doesn't matter. If he's a rapist, doesn't matter. Either way it goes, it's bad business. Because these people cannot be healed. They are sick in their mind and they're twisted. If you can, you can, if you can imagine American Most Wanted, they got more pedophiles on there than I see. And more people murdering their wives than I see. And yeah, drugs need to be taken off the street. The worst ones need to be taken off is the ones that hurt babies. That's the ones you need to focus on, the ones that hurt babies. Or rape women, for that matter. I just seen tonight, a young lady was killed in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. Now they're trying to identify the person with through a tattoo or whatever that case may be. It's so much stuff going on. You can't knock your dough no more. You, you have to get an actual damn robot. Like Terminator to be at your fucking door for protection. But I'm just going to keep it 100, you guys. This has just got to stop. This this world has... It's, 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 it's leaving. And we're living in our last days. And I ask God and I pray to God. And no, God don't like my foul mouth. Or say things that I say, but he knows my faults, and he's the only one that judges me. But I know y'all know I'm right because there's so much going on, and he is not pleased. No wonder, and they people are wondering about what's, what's up with all this crazy weather we're having. Now, maybe you ever think about the signs, in my opinion, the signs that the Lord is sending out to us, letting us know he's not playing. Um, another lady got murdered here in, uh, in my, not far from me actually, about mm, a good 35, 40 minutes from where I live, depending on the traffic. Because if you take uh, Highway 49, you'll get there within 25, 30 minutes, tops. Um, in the past, I heard she was killed by her boyfriend. Her boyfriend stabbed her to death. When people start getting close to home, you can't walk out your door. You can't go to the grocery store. You can't. You can't leave your house alone. Hey, you better leave it by with somebody. If somebody's gonna try to do something to hurt somebody, regardless. And it's just crazy, and it's sad. But. I don't want to make this a long video. I just needed to vlog a little bit and tell you guys what's on my mind. It's sad to know that this world is falling, and we need to we need to pray, guys. We need to get some prayer done. I don't know what religion you may be, or who you are, you worship, but we need to pray. We need to pray because this is just it's going on way too much we got so much go crap we can't even explain ourselves no more kids going and like the 12 year old kid that's being tried as an adult murdered his stepmother while she was pregnant now he's got life in prison without parole oh my god they're getting younger and younger by the day and it's getting <clears throat> I have a 4 year old son that I'm 
going to pray on him because he's my baby and he's been acting out a lot lately and he hasn't um he's been disobedient um a lot and i'm worried about him but i'm, I'm gonna ask god for his god guidance because i know that god can change a person change things around within a heartbeat and i i'm I've been talking to him. I have been talking to God. And I know that it's been it's been hard on me as a mom because I know my husband has to work from eight to five, basically four hours a week and from Monday to Friday. And he's so tired when he gets off of work. And sometimes I get upset because he goes in his room and he plays his video game or whatever. I don't have a problem with him because he needs to relax a little bit until he gets himself together. Because being out there in that heat all day long and working on a, you know, a, as groundskeeper or doing whatever they got him doing out there in the heat. Because honey, he's turned three turds. He's turned two shades darker than his whole neck, from his neck to his arms. That's it. His whole waist is pretty white. But. Let me get off this thing. I don't want to ramble because it's already 4 o'clock in the morning. And I mean, personally, I, I'm, I've been up all day. I haven't had a nap. I mean, I dozed off, but I couldn't do much because uh, my kids were around. And I didn't want them getting into anything. But usually when it's nap time, they used to take a nap with mommy. And, but today is just no nap for mom. Yeah, the writer sucks. Anyway, I am rambling. But you guys have a wonderful night. And again, I'm going to share. I use my Sugar Pill palette. And I also use the white eyeshadow along with this white base. And this white eyeshadow is by Medusa. It's called Electro White. I honestly don't like the packaging on here. The packaging on this, on these shadows really sucks. That's my opinion. I mean, as far as quality, they they really bad. But I like the I like the, the design of the of their logo. But I do not like the product itself. I mean, it's really cheap. It's just the thing pops out and everything. It's just horrible. But as far as their eyeshadow, they rock. Okay, I love their eyeshadow. Um. So yeah, you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you soon. And again. This look is patriotic look. I will do a a um, tutorial on it and take pictures. So have a wonderful day, guys. And I'm wearing the Menagee look. Okay.